Hi, I'm Melania Jack and this is my work, it's called Strike. In this piece, I really wanted to explore the trans-global workforce behind the iron. This work is also quite um, gendered, but it's also racialized and class-based. It's kind of like the low-paid factory work is the work that enslaves that sector. And then here we get to see the irony because the low-paid work building the iron becomes the unpaid work of doing the ironing. So it's ironic. Since the 1950s, domestic appliance technology has been marketed towards women under the guise of freeing us from domestic drudgery. You know, people might think that this housewife concept is really sort of old and outdated and that it doesn't exist anymore, but actually not a lot has changed when it comes to gender equality in the domestic sphere. So this imagery as well of the iconic housewife, it really is specific and it kind of only really references middle-class, suburban, white women, which is traditionally what popular feminism has worried about. And here we have the business shirt, which is what represents the patriarchy and capitalism. And this shirt constantly needs ironing. You know, it requires a lot of electricity and attention to kind of uphold that prestige of what this capitalist structure likes to think we need to look like. The Ironing Maidens is a live performance project that I collaborate on with sound artist Patty Priest. And we use irons and ironing boards which we've turned into electronic instruments so that we can explore these concepts around gender and the domestic sphere. And what I've loved about this project is taking it off the stage and deconstructing it and being able to set it up and leave it here and walk away and let it have its own life and continue telling its side of the story. What I've really loved about working with this window box shape here is that traditionally the window box was used to market a product to the world, whereas here we get to subvert that and instead of seeing the product of, you know, the suit or the dress, we get to see the work behind that and you know, the people that, that run the machines and the hands that build the iron.